Hi, my name is Steve Zanay. Uh, I want to show you the process of, of doing a, a banded top or a laceless top here. You can create any T-top or, or structure, a large structure bimini top into what will simulate it looking like a hard, hard fiberglass hard top without having all the weight on the boat. So we're going to go through the process. First of all, you're going to want to select your band. Uh, this, this banding here is already pre-drilled. Uh, this one's pre-drilled every six inches. It's kind of concave. Stainless or aluminum. This would have to be stainless here. And we're going to start with a, pro, a spot here, eighth inch drill bit. And if you have to, sometimes you use a center punch to center this, but this drill bit's pretty sharp. I don't need one. You want to do this very carefully. Keep your cap straight. I will put the lubricant on at least every second or third hole. Here again, I got a 632 screw, half inch, this is a three quarter inch, but a half inch or whatever will work for you. Because we're going to do is drill all the screws before we put our fabric in place. Being I'm on a straight edge, I can drill a couple holes at a time. If I get into a curve, then I want to stop and do one hole at a time. Keep your tap straight. If you come on an angle like that, or you move it at all, you can very easily snap it. Now, see, I put the lube in the first hole. And the third hole, I can start to feel that the, the, the tap is trying to drag a little bit, so I need to lube on the next hole. Now this is stainless, it should bend around. Force it around if you have to. Rubber mallet or plastic tip hammer. Take my tap, put some lube on it again. That would recommend practicing with some pipe drilling and tapping it before you get into the real project, just to get the hand, hang of it. And you want to get this band conformed to the corner as best you can, so it grabs the fabric and holds it in place for you. The tap is dragging a little bit, I'll put lube on it next hole. If you're not using a really good drill bit, you might want to use a center punch with a titanium bit. It, do, it doesn't want to wander across the surface of the tube. Your, your labor is more valuable than, than any of your tools. That's why I always recommend buy the best tool that you can afford. This band comes 12 to 16 foot in length. I did take a file and file get any burrs off of there, any burrs in the curve on the points there or anything. I don't want anything that's going to, that's going to the fabric's going to catch hold of. Again with a titanium bit, I'm able to put a dimple in the in the tubing where I need to be, and I can pull that all my way. Also, on the, when you're drilling, keep your drill straight too. You want to wander like that, you have a tendency to break it. Sometimes some pony clamps or any other clamps to hold it, to take it in the side, or you got a, uh, a helper with you to hold one end of the tubing or the band, so it's not banging against the boat. Or be aware of the boat that's next to you. Especially if you're using a long piece, you could have a, that, that uh, band could be sticking out another 10 foot. It's very easy. It goes in so slick. And you just want to force it around there. You can use a hammer if you want. But when you get in the curve there, if you have to, sometimes if it doesn't butt up, maybe pull the band a little bit just to put some pressure on their tension on it. You could use sheet metal screws without tapping it. The advantage I like using the, the sheet metal screws, you got a 632, so it's very fine tooth. So you're going through tubing, you can get three, maybe four threads will grab. If you use a sheet metal screw without drawing it, you're only going to have two, two of your threads are going to grab your pipe and less chance of it staying there long term. And later on when you have to replace this top, you can, uh, you can unscrew that pretty easily. Here, here we got aluminum structure with stainless steel screws. So after we're done, we go to install the top. I, I would insert uh, some little uh, anti-season compound or uh, uh, like a Tef gel. Got a 
couple pony clamps just to take this to keep kind of keep the pipe in place for me. Last thing I want to do is break the cap off. These other screws I don't need to put in right now because we're on the straight section. There again, I'm trying to stretch, push the band in, and then pull it around the corner as well. later and re-drill another hole because it's all pre-drilled but we got to the end of the band and there's where it was cut so I'll have to pre-drill pre put another hole right through here. You know when I first started doing this I was hand tapping these things so I got the nerve up to actually put a tap into a drill and do it. I think I broke more taps hand tapping it than I did with a, with a tap and a drill. I'm going to untie the boat, shift the boat a little bit. There again, working in the corner, and just pull it around. Location of the band, normally I do on the face like this. I've seen some larger larger structure where you actually bring the fabric around and put the band on the inside. It, it, it holds a little bit better because you got a lot of tension of the fabric pull on the pipe and then the band holding it here so actually you get more holding power there. I've seen some where they put it right across the top there. This way you look at it, you still can see the nice aluminum or stainless rail that's there. There again, we're trying to push this in there. Tighten that screw up. And now it brings it around to this side. We started here, we went all the way around. We're back to this second hole. We're close to the end, so now we need to put a mark on our on our band where we want to cut it. So I'm going to put a mark out about here. We're going to cut this band off here, but also we're going to cut the back, the, the one off underneath it as well. For here, I'm going to stop. We're going to cut this, and then we'll you know, continue on. At the end here, we had to cut this off. There's no hole here. We don't want this thing flopping like this. So what we do is we have to cut it trimmed off. And I want to take a center punch and I want to punch in the center of this here, probably three eighths to an inch from the edge. And the reason I'm doing it on the band is it's stainless, it's so sharp. I, I worry about the drill bit um, wandering a lot. I got a drill bit the same size as the hole there, the large hole. I don't want to drill all the way through with this. I just want to bevel it so the, the screw has got a hole to fit into. There again, you want to be very careful you don't drill all the way through this banding. I, I dropped down to a smaller hole, smaller drill bit for this, just for the diameter of the screw to go through. I'm not going into the tubing, I'm just drilling through the band. See, I just got through the band, not into the tubing. And then I'll put my screw in there. Hold that down there in place. Now your band butts up nice and clean up against the other piece. We're on the boat, so we want to be very careful when we're cutting this so that we don't do any damage to the boat. Just start, start with short, slow little strokes back and forth. Once it gets going, there you can see it builds up momentum. Otherwise, it, if you're not careful, it'll slide all over and scratch your band up on you. So I already got a, pen, a sharpie mark on that. So I'm going to take the band off to continue cutting it. Got that off. 
Now, I've eaten this in pieces. Before you take your band off and set it down on the ground, you want to mark it so when you get ready to put this on, you know exactly where each piece is going to go. This is going around the band here. And where I got something close to the same area, I'll put a piece of blue on the, on the, on the frame as, as well. So you can, you can do this with a pencil on the inside, a sharpie, whatever, whatever you got it you know, close and available for you. Just be careful you put something on like this, it doesn't, it doesn't fall off on you. Now I'm marking this piece. I'm going to go ahead and take the rest of the band off. The blue tape is just to kind of get you started in an area. Because um, when you lay that band, it's, it's, it's formed. Because you don't want to get to the boat, come back later, and, and put this on the wrong side. So when I get ready to put the top on, boom, this lines up here. It can't go any other place. This band's going to have two pieces of tape. Two pieces of tape on the framework as well. This way you eliminate all confusion. You have two pieces of tape on this band. I just need to have two pieces on the frame top as well. This is going to conclude the part of drilling and tapping your frame. Now you're ready for your fabric. We'll go on to the next step after that. What I'm going to do is, is work in a big room. I've cooked and re-drilled and drill. And I'm going to show you the process. Drill up and tap this whole thing. It took us 20 minutes. Drill every hole and tap it. What, I'm doing, what, what I do is I start my regular band, and I'm going to come and do one on all three, all four sides, so I'll grab the seat from where you're sitting. Got my band in place, and normally I clamp it for here, it's just a small piece I can do it. With the cap and the drill, you want to use some type of lubricant. It's like a page, this is a, a zipper lubricant. You can buy some Dory's, anything, like just dip it and tap it like that. Done. You want to dip the tap in it every second or third tap. What size tap are you using? I'm using the 632 tap here with an eighth inch drill bit. What the fourth part we do with the tap, you want to make sure you hold your tap straight with your, your pipe there. If you, if you twist it like this, you can snap it off. You break a tap off, you do whatever you have to to get that tap on. It's steel and will cause rust. You know, your first time I'll just give you the two and practice tapping. <laughs> she fell screws and threads a little bit farther apart, so you only get one or two threads of gravity to your pipe. Where you tap and machine screw, it, you get three or four fibers, so you get an extra, you get a better bond, and it's easier to take it apart later if you want. When you're doing aluminum frames, stainless steel screws, especially in a saw work application, you got dissimilar metals, I would put a little tough gel on the thread and edge when you're ready to install it. Otherwise, you get a corrosion. And if they're going to seize up and you come back a year later to try and change that, you're not going to get the screw up, the screws will break off. What I'm doing is going to measure what I need material wise. If you had a bigger piece and you had to seam it, you probably try and get a seam on one of your pipes or something like this. So what I did, I added 10 inches and we sold like a 4 inch pocket all the way around. Cut the corners off. When I first started doing banded tops, I did a piece of material, some pony clamps on it. And I'd be up there and have somebody pulling like this and I'm screwing the screws in there. I said, man, there's got to be a better way to do that. Because <laughs> it's, just, it's just hard. You get it here, you get it, and you get the other side, you're like, you're tired, so you don't get it as tight as you want. So I sold the pockets in. You can use a piece of stainless tubing, um, good heavy duty aluminum, uh, wooden doll rods, like, you know, old broom if you want. This year I got things in the way, so we, we got creative. We built this thing, we came here, and we went to do it. And then, so we just took the pocket and cut it, now you put the pipe on the inside, and that's why we, we adjusted the pockets yesterday when we got here setting up, oh, this thing didn't work. I'm going to tension this top down. I used to do, and I still do, um, instead of the rope, or I guess a bind, because that's what I had at home to bring, it's the ratchet straps. You put it on there, if it's got a big one, you can just ratchet it down. Just kind of small, one inch wide straps, you use to strap the motorcycle down. In the, in the car, right. and I'm not tight right now. Just kind of just snug it, so I don't want to steal from one side or the other. You want, you want this thing as tight as it, you want to close that when it's finished. Now I'm holding on the straight edges, and then I'm going to get into the curves. So I got the whole free drill. I got the thing stuck where man. Now I need to find the first hole. So once you got you got one screw to play, everything's already plugged in a line right up. For those of you who weren't in the room, yeah, 
when I started, I didn't have, I didn't have this handy off that Carrie had in her bag with everything else. I brought a fork out from the restaurant. The question is, how do you bend the band? You get it on a straight piece like that. I was starting on a straight edge here, and I drill, put one, two, maybe three screws in to hold it, and then this thing will just will walk right around it like with your hand. This is stainless. You can get this band and also aluminum too. By screwing it tight here, this gives you a little bit of leverage to pull it around. <laughs> Fingers. Sink it, it's a bevel tool, it's a Yeah, it comes this way. In the corner, I would, yeah. 